Alright, so I was out here looking for some coyotes this morning, but didn't see anything. Got my camera. I figured I'd go ahead and make a video showing how well how I do it. I know there's a lot of ways, but how you can figure the drop of your bullet at different distances. So, calculators and all that online that you can use and they give you a rough estimate I'd say of about how much your bullet's gonna drop but I'm gonna show you how I do it my gun sighted in for 100 yards and uh, I'm gonna set a target up here at 300 yards and show you guys how how I figure it um, I'm not gonna adjust my scope or anything right now I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot it at a hundred I'll put up a big target I'll aim right at the spot I want to hit and uh, we'll see how much it drops and then we'll figure it out from there then we'll know exactly how much this bullet I mean this gun with particular bullet I'm using we'll figure out how much it drops. I'm using a Winchester Power Max bonded 150 grain and I've only got four of them left so hopefully we can get this done in four shots. So we'll find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down here and set up my target 300 yards away and we'll get started. Down right there, I'm gonna lay on this little hill, this terrace. And I've got a junk pile down there at 300 yards. I'll go set up a target. Just a minute. All right, here's the target I'm gonna be shooting at. It's just an old refrigerator door out here in this junk pile. There's already one, two, three, four, five shots in it from shooting a few weeks ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim at that top square up there. My gun's still sighted in at 100. I'm gonna aim at that top square, and then we'll see how low it shoots, how many inches it drops. I'm guessing it's gonna be right around 12, 11 or 12 probably, somewhere in that area. So we'll go back here, take one shot at that top square, and then we'll come back and check it out and see where the bullet hole is. I'm gonna ride back that way. Okay. All right, I know it's hard to see, but the target I'm shooting at is that white spot there, that refrigerator door, at 300 yards away, so I can still slide it in at 100. I haven't adjusted it or anything. I'm going to take a shot <coughs> at that top square, which is just a square piece of duct tape. So we're going to take one shot at that, <coughs> and then we'll go from there. Alright, I just saw, shot the first shot and I can see where the bullet hit and to me from here it looks like it's maybe seven inches below that so I'll try one more just to make sure make sure I didn't mess that shot up. Thank you. 
That one looks more to me where it should have been. I think I just messed up that first shot, but that one to me looks like it's about, uh, probably about 12 or 13 inches low. So I'm gonna ride up there and check it out real quick. First shot, I think I kind of moved on that one, so the second one I felt like I was more right on it, and it looks like where it should be. I don't know how, I don't know exactly how far, how much drop that is, but it looks like maybe 12, 13 inches. I think a dollar bill is supposed to be about close to 6 inches, I think. So we'll just say that's six. Yeah, I'll say it's about 11, 11 or 12. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go back there and adjust my scope. And we'll see what happens from there. Then we'll try to shoot this target, probably. All right. All right, so I went and checked it out. I'm pretty sure the uh, first shot I think I I think that was my fault the second one I'm pretty sure looks closer it dropped about 11 inches so we're gonna figure 11 inches I'm at 300 yards so from here each clicks gonna do three quarters of an inch so we're gonna do 11 divided by three-fourths that's how you get it and that'll show you 14.66 so we'll just say 15 clicks and uh, on most scopes you'll turn that uh, to the left counterclockwise so we're going to try that <clears throat> alright there's 15 clicks <coughs> put a couple more, more bullets in here and then we'll try it out well, I was going to put a couple more bullets in, but I've only got one bullet left of this kind. And I don't really don't want to switch to these others, or i got to adjust everything from there. The other ones I have are 180 grain Winchesters, I think. So, we'll just try this one. I adjusted it 15 clicks for 14 inches. So, we'll just aim at that middle target, the big piece of tape, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get pretty close. see it so I'm gonna ride up there and check it out and we'll see see what happens So I got us pretty close. A little bit low, but not too bad. I only got as all the bullets I had, or I'd try to shoot more and get it a little closer. But I would have shot, you know, three at least to get a group to see if I could get them all right there. I don't know how big this is. Maybe four, four by four. Five, something like that but anyway that's about it well <clears throat> that's it for this video it's actually the first video I've ever made for YouTube so hopefully you guys can kind of understand everything I was talking about how to do it uh, so at 300 yards when you figure out how much drop you just take that number divide it by three-fourths or 0.75 that'll tell you how many 
Netflix. And then uh, on most scopes, like I said, you turn that to the left counterclockwise. And that lowers your crosshair. So, by lowering the crosshair, then that's bringing your barrel up a little higher. Uh, that's pretty much it. It. I might make another video sometime, but just how, maybe how I sight in at a hundred yards, getting all that done and bore sight and without, you know, without using a bore sight or any tools or any of that kind of stuff. No laser bore sight or anything like that. Uh, last time I did it <clears throat> for my nephew's gun, I took two shots at a hundred yards and we were in on the bullseye. So. I might make another video and show you that process, maybe. I need to buy some more bullets, so. <clears throat> Alright, later.